So my name is Patrick Mulcahy from CRY 104 FM and we're at the CRY 104 FM Cheltenham preview night here at the Walter Valley Hotel and I'm delighted to say Tommy Lyons of the Irish Examiner, of course racing correspondent with the uh, national paper joining me here and Tommy, uh, fantastic week, looking forward to Cheltenham, you're heading over yourself working. Yeah, I'm heading away uh, Monday morning early. It's going to be a long, long week, Patrick. They're 12 hour days, easily, at least. Uh, it's, it's fairly demanding, but I wouldn't be anywhere else. I mean, that's where I want to be. It's why I try to get the job I'm in. I mean, why anybody's get involved in racing is to be, to be there in Cheltenham. Fantastic week ahead, Tommy. Just, uh, I suppose, last year, we, there was a good few winners put up here last year. You put up York Hill yourself, uh, but there's a, a horse that beat, uh, the York Hill beat, in fact, last year. Uh, do you fancy? Um, yeah, Jan Worth, I think he's, I think, I nearly say I go close to saying he's a good thing in the champion hurdle. I was one of these people who had a doubt about him, Patrick, now I'll be quite honest about it, the whole season. I just didn't think his jumper was up to it. I was wondering had he got the pace. Um, but what I saw the last day, that convinced me. I came away from that race. Sometimes in racing, something just hits you and you say, that. And what I saw there says, you know what, this horse has everything you need to win a champion hurdle. He has a little bit of class, Patrick. That time last year behind York Hill was the only time he's been beaten over hurdles. Uh, he's quality, he gets down and dirty, which you really need because you want something strong to come up that hill. So, yeah, I fancy him strongly. I think in 5 to 2, uh, you probably get a little bit of 3 to 1, maybe. I think that's not a bad price. I think I, I really fancy him strongly, particularly the fact that I don't like Boover Dare. Um, a horse that's well beaten behind uh, behind Altior and Min. I mean, no excuses, he's beaten over eight lengths. He, I think he fell in in, in, in Aintree. Um, I don't see from anything that I've seen this year that he's improved as a herder, that he's n not markedly anyway, certainly not enough to beat Altior over hurdles. Now, Altior will be a short price favourite, but Janworth is a, is, a, is a high class horse. I just fancy him strong, you know, I'll be honest. Uh, I know Ruby Walsh writes for the Examiner as well, and on the first day, uh, Mellon, we think, will ride him. Uh, any, has he been telling anything for the Supreme Novice Hurdle? Well, what he's telling me is that Willie Mullins will win the race. And told me what he winner with, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm fairly like you. I'm fairly confident that he will ride Mellon. Um, look, Willie's been talking him up. Willie knows what it takes to win a Supreme Novices Hurdle. Yes, you're going back to the early '90s to a horse called Flown. The last time a horse had only one run over hurdles before he won this. Now Flown was much more experienced coming into it. He had an awful lot of runs for Richard Hannon before he ever went hurling uh, with, with Nicky Henderson. So Mellon is at a bit of a disadvantage that way. But look, at Nicky Henderson is the top British trainer in terms of of, of the Cheltenham Festival and. Uh, Willie Mullins is, 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 is the top trainer of the current uh, from, uh, from the Irish club and probably the, top, probably the top trainer in general to be quite honest about it I mean if he thinks it's, it's, it's a really good horse and it's good enough to win the Supreme Novices Hurdle it probably will I don't want to back it I don't want to recommend anybody back it at 3-1 to one, but maybe maybe it will win now uh, Crack Moan another horse of Willie's who got beaten the last time he, he's, he's a good horse I tell you I wouldn't rule it out you want to, want to be sure that it's good ground in the day I'm pretty sure it'll be good to soft artificially soft let's call it uh, on Tuesday yeah, I'd, I'd fancy that Crack Moan can run a big race look at it, if Mellon is what Willie says it is it wins but 3 to 1 Two horses that are, I suppose, well connected to the East Cork area, Tommy. One being Under Soul running in the Ryanair chase, owned by the O'Connells and Glamour. The other, it, actually, second favourite in that race is Empire of Dirt, of course, bred by Sean Harney, only out and got through. Uh, what's your opinion on that race? Yeah, well, we just had the recent news that, that Don Poli is out of the Gold Cup. That may, now we don't know, at, the, at this stage we don't know, that may sway uh, the O'Leary's to go for the Gold Cup with Empire of Dirt. Um, I was fancying him to beat Under Soul, I'll be quite honest about it, in the, in the, the Ryanair chase. Um, just worried about the good ground uh, for under so unless it rains appreciably I would just uh, think you know I don't think the trip two, two and a half miles is a concern I mean he's going to stay there that's fine um, I'd just be a bit worried about about the ground being a bit faster Empire Dirt ran a cracking race in the Irish Gold Cup the last day behind size and John um, he actually to be quite honest about it he looked like a step up in trip would probably suit him so maybe if he does go for the Gold Cup he's got a place chance I don't fancy him strongly to say that he's going to win a Gold Cup although it is a, probably an, an open and winnable race um, but I could see him in the frame definitely For our listeners at home Tommy uh, a handicap bet uh, for the festival and what's your best your nap of the meeting um, the handicap bet I quite like long call in the Fred Winter I just think it's a horse that won the first day very very impressively not the first day it was the first day when he went over to England he had three runs here in Ireland that were uh, you know fairly nondescript uh, but he won in he won in England he ran the last day uh, behind Master Blue Eyes he was trying to give a lot of weight away um, I readily forgive that form he's an ex Godolphin horse uh, better ground is what we'd anticipate as long as the ground stays good um, I think he can run to his mark I think he got a mark in the early 130s I think it is um, I think that's a 
very winnable mark. He's a horse that was rated 75 in the flat. Could be 100 horse in the flat, from what I'm hearing. Uh, I like him. Long call in the Fred Winter would be my idea. But the banker bet of the week is Let's Dance. I think she's an absolutely terrific mare. Not okay if she runs in the Neptune. I'm, we might have to re-record this, but, but uh, if she runs in the mare's novice, I think she's just a classy, classy mare. I like an awful lot of, 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 of what she's done. I, if, you, if you go back to Race Patrick and Leperson, I'm sure you were there that day when she ran against slow motion. and They went toe for toe down the back at a strong pace. And she just kicked away, and that was the end of that. I think she's just pure class. Yeah, Let's Dance for me is the best of the week. She's not a huge price now, uh, but, but I think she's the nap of the meeting. Enjoy the week next week, Tommy, and uh, best luck over there. You too.